Using a sauna can benefit your muscles, it can help improve your blood flow, and even though it may be uncomfortable, sitting in a sauna provides a ton of health benefits for your body. And many of these benefits carry over to your workouts and can even help improve your body composition. For example, one thing that you'll experience if you use the sauna consistently is faster recovery from your workouts. And there are a number of reasons for this. One of them I already mentioned, saunas improve blood flow, and this helps deliver nutrients to the cells and tissues that need those nutrients to recover. The way that saunas improve blood flow is by heating the body. The heat relaxes and dilates blood vessels, making it easier for your cardiovascular system to pump blood throughout the entire body. Studies also show that regular sauna use improves endothelial function, which is the function of the thin inner layer membrane that lines your heart and blood vessels. Now, on top of all that, studies show that sauna use increases IGF-1, which is a vital hormone for growth and recovery. One of these studies found a 142% increase in this IGF-1 hormone during sauna use. Now, it's still debatable how much of an increase in IGF-1 would be required to speed up recovery, but between the improved blood flow and the boost to IGF-1, it's no wonder why people claim to recover faster after using a sauna. Another big benefit from the sauna can be felt in your mood. If you suffer from depression or just want to improve your mood, the sauna might actually be able to help. That's because sauna use increases beta endorphins in the blood, which produces feelings of euphoria. In fact, whole body heat therapy has been shown to improve symptoms of depression in cancer patients through this same process. Also, we have a randomized controlled double-blind study on depression that shows that a single session of elevating your core body temperature to 101.3 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 38.5 degrees Celsius, led to an acute antidepressant effect that lasted for six weeks. That's obviously a really powerful effect on your mind, and it can be noticed right away, especially if you use a sauna consistently. Now, in addition to muscle recovery, I kind of alluded earlier to the fact that a sauna can relieve pain as well. It does this by increasing the release of anti-inflammatory hormones like adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol, and IGF-1. For example, one study found that combining sauna use with other therapeutics assisted in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. And another study found sauna therapy reduced pain from fibromyalgia. In regard to working out and delayed onset muscle soreness, even though there's a lot of anecdotal evidence that heat therapy helps reduce post-workout soreness, we don't have enough solid evidence to say conclusively that it does. But most likely saunas do reduce muscle soreness thanks to the improved blood flow and the release of endorphins, which are opiate-like chemicals that act like natural painkillers. Next, let's go back to another cognitive benefit, which is the fact that it can help improve your mental performance. You see, the stress from heat increases the expression of brain-derived nootropic factor, also known as BDNF, which is a crucial protein for cognitive health. BDNF helps regulate synaptic plasticity, which essentially helps neurons communicate, and that assists with learning and memory formation. Research also shows that BDNF is involved in muscle repair, and it's even involved in the growth and development of new muscle tissue. On top of that, it can help combat the cognitive decline associated with aging. In a study on men from Finland, researchers found that those who use the sauna four to seven times per week had a 65% reduced risk of developing Alzheimer's disease compared to those who use the sauna only once per week. In addition to this study, there's another one where men were instructed to stay in a sauna that was heated to 176 degrees Fahrenheit or about 80 degrees Celsius until they felt totally exhausted and felt like they had to leave to take a break from the heat. And the results show that there was a 310% increase in norepinephrine and a tenfold increase in prolactin. These things benefit your cognitive health because norepinephrine enhances focus and attention while prolactin promotes myelin growth, which makes the brain function faster. Similar results were found in women. The participants that completed 20 minute sessions in a dry sauna twice a week experienced an 86% increase in norepinephrine and a 510% increase in prolactin. Another inner benefit that you'll experience is your stress levels will go down. It's well known that chronic stress is terrible for your health. It's linked to things like cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, depression, asthma, gastrointestinal problems, and much more. Luckily, the sauna might offer some help. Research shows that sauna use can reduce levels of cortisol, which is your body's primary stress hormone. Also, I already mentioned earlier that sauna use can increase BDNF. This is beneficial not only for learning and memory, but also for your stress levels. Research shows that reduced levels of BDNF can play a role in depression and anxiety. So by boosting this unique protein in your brain, you could reduce your stress. To reap the maximum benefits, try to focus on your breath while you're using the sauna. That way, you'll also experience the benefits that deep breathing exercises can have on reducing stress. Now, aside from the internal effects, a sauna can provide many benefits externally as well. For example, a sauna can improve the health and the appearance of your skin. We have studies showing that regular sauna use has a positive effect on skin health, especially surface pH levels and hydration. One of these studies showed that sauna use led to less oil being present on the forehead of participants. That's why it might be a good idea for oily, acne-prone skin. But it's important to keep in mind that sweating causes your body to secrete zinc, and sweating is one reason why 21 to 43 percent of athletes have low levels of zinc. So if you're an athlete or you use saunas regularly, or especially if you do both, it's important to get enough zinc because other than the many important functions that zinc has inside your body, it's also crucial for your skin health. You can take a zinc supplement if you use a sauna every day, or better than a supplement is real food. Examples of foods that score high in zinc are oysters, beef, chicken, firm tofu, lean pork chops, hemp seeds, and lentils. 
the next potential benefit that you'll get is more weight loss. Of course, make no mistake, a lot of this weight loss will be in the form of water weight. This is actually why the sauna is used by athletes that want to lose weight. Boxers and wrestlers, for example, will use a sauna to drop weight to a lower weight class. But these effects are only temporary. When you rehydrate yourself after sweating, the lost water weight will be reabsorbed. Now, another way that people have suggested that a sauna could potentially benefit weight loss is by elevating your heart rate. But the fact of the matter is that you'll only burn slightly more calories in a sauna compared to just sitting in a room at regular room temperature. The difference is as small as instead of burning 40 calories after 30 minutes of sitting at room temperature, you'll boost the number of calories burnt to a whopping 60 calories in a hot sauna. That's not going to make too much of a difference. You'd burn much more calories by hitting the gym or performing almost any kind of a workout. With all that said, there still is one more way that sauna use may help benefit weight loss other than assisting with recovery and performance. And that's through molecules known as heat shock proteins. Heat shock proteins are present in all cells. They're essential for basic cellular maintenance and they play an essential role in many processes, including immune function, cell signaling, and cell cycle regulation. Using a sauna can elevate these levels of heat shock proteins. And according to animal studies, those proteins may help reduce fat mass. However, this effect needs more research because there's a lack of evidence that shows that similar benefits apply to people. Also, even if the effect did apply, it wouldn't be huge like dieting or exercising. So weight loss will mostly be limited to water weight, which can help reduce bloat and temporarily make you appear more vascular with thinner looking skin. But a major health benefit that can't be overlooked when it comes to regular sauna use is the impact that it can have on your heart. There are many ways that sauna use can benefit your heart. For example, it can reduce the stiffness of your arteries, it can improve your blood lipid profiles, and it can help reduce your blood pressure. Studies also support the heart benefits associated with heat therapy. For example, in a 2015 study involving Finnish men, researchers looked at the link between sauna use and fatal cardiovascular events. The results showed that the participants that used the sauna four to seven times per week had a 48% reduced risk of heart disease or heart attack compared to those who only used it once a week. The researchers mentioned that more studies are necessary to establish the mechanism behind the link between sauna use and improved cardiovascular health. And we did get more of an understanding of this link in a later 2018 study that found that the benefits could likely be due to improved heart muscle contractions, reduced arterial stiffness and blood lipids, and lowered blood pressure. With the potential benefit for your heart, it's easy to see how another benefit of consistent sauna use is increased longevity, which means that it may help you live longer. Not only did the 2015 study that I just mentioned find a reduction in cardiovascular disease events, but the participants who used the sauna more often also had a reduced rate of all-cause mortality. The researchers even mentioned that this reduced risk of all-cause mortality was present even independently from conventional risk factors. The exact mechanism that's associated with increased longevity is still unknown, but one way that heat therapy may lead to an increase in longevity is by stimulating heat shock proteins like we talked about earlier. We actually have evidence that shows that flies that are repeatedly exposed to heat stress experience much higher levels of heat shock proteins and a significant increase in lifespan. Of course, once again, data on flies may not translate over to humans, and there is a limited amount of quality data on how heat shock proteins impact longevity in men and women. But just because we're not sure of the mechanism doesn't change the fact that the sauna benefits your heart, blood vessels, and even your nervous system in a way that can improve longevity. Finally, last but not least, the sauna can help benefit your athletic performance. Using a sauna regularly can give you a boost with endurance-based activities. In a high heat environment like a sauna or a steam room, you can train your body to become accustomed to the high temperature and to function optimally. This is actually called hyperthermic conditioning, and it works especially well for endurance athletes. To give an example, let's say that an athlete lives in an area with low to moderate temperatures, but they're training to compete in a place where the weather is much hotter. They could use a sauna regularly in preparation for this competition. That can actually help improve their ability to cope with the heat, which benefits performance. This same idea can be applied to other endurance activities, and the steam room especially can help your respiratory system function optimally. Since oxygen is the primary energy pathway for many endurance-based activities, it's easy to see how optimizing your cardiorespiratory system can lead to benefits in the realm of exercise and performance. So those are 10 major benefits that you can expect from using a sauna consistently. As mentioned, weight loss is something that can be temporarily accelerated with sauna use, but it will most likely be in the form of water weight. To truly benefit your body composition and your health, sauna use should be combined with a solid diet and workout plan. You can even use a sauna directly before your workout to warm up your body and get the blood flowing, or you can use it after your workout to relax your muscles and help speed up recovery. 